In this video, we're going to take a look at ESPNOW, a communication protocol developed by Expressive, ideal to exchange data between ESP32 boards. We're going to explain what's ESPNOW, how it can be used with the ESP32, and show you examples to exchange data between boards. So let's get started. ESPNOW is a connectionless communication protocol developed by Expressive that features short packet transmission. This protocol enables multiple devices to talk with each other without using Wi-Fi. It's similar to the low-power 2.4 GHz wireless connectivity. This is a fast communication protocol that can be used to exchange small messages up to 250 bytes between ESP32 boards. With ESP now, the pairing between devices is needed prior to their communication. After the pairing is done, the connection is safe and peer-to-peer, -peer, with no handshake being required. This means that if suddenly one of your ESP32 resets or loses power, when it restarts, it will automatically restart the communication with its peers. ESP now is very versatile, and you can have one-way or two-way communication in different setups. For example, you can have one board sending data to another board one board receiving data from multiple boards, and one board sending data to multiple boards. You can also have a two-way communication between two or more boards. To send a message via ESP now to another board, you need to know the MAC address of the board we want to send the data to. We provide a sketch that you can upload to your boards to get their MAC addresses. To send data to another board, you need to follow these steps in your code. Initialize ESP now. Register a callback function upon sending data. The onData sent function will be executed when a message is sent. This can tell us if the message was successfully delivered or not. Add a peer device, the receiver. For this, you need to know the receiver MAC address. And finally, send a message to the peer device. To receive data via ESP now, you need to first Initialize ESP now. Second, register for a receive callback function. This is a function that will be executed when a message is received. Inside that callback function, save the message into a variable to execute any task with that information. As you can see, ESP now works with callback functions that are called when a device receives a message or when a message is sent. So whether you want to send, receive, or both, Using ESP now, you just need to use those callback functions. To illustrate how everything works, we have an example to exchange data between two ESP32 boards. Each board sends its sensor readings to the other board and displays them on the OLED display. You just need to assemble a circuit with a ESP32, an OLED display, and a BME20 sensor. Then, you need to get each board MAC address you can use the sketch provided in the project page. Finally, upload the code provided. The code is the same for both boards. You just need to insert the receiver MAC address. After finishing this project, you'll have each board acting simultaneously as a sender and a receiver. Each board is displaying sensor readings from the other board. With ESP now, we were able to get a reliable communication range between two ESP32 boards up to 220 meters, which is approximately 720 feet, in an open field without obstacles. In this experiment, both ESP32 onboard antennas were pointing to each other. We hope you found this video interesting. In future ESP Now projects, we'll cover how to send and receive data using multiple boards. As always, you can find all the code used in this video if you visit the first link in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects with the ESP32.